So, there's trouble in paradise. FFK fourth marriage just ended. Hello, gist lovers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm bringing you a hot gist. All right. Okay, so from the title of this video, you have a clue what, what I'm about to give to you. But anyways, FFK his marriage just ended. His fourth marriage just ended. All right, so the former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fanny Kayode, but he's formerly known as FFK. A lot of people call him FFK, you know, he's the one and only FFK. He's former Minister of Aviation in Nigeria. Okay, so he's uh, a top politician, you know, he's also a lawyer or something like, something like that. So he's a top politician, I'm telling you, in Nigeria. His fourth marriage just ended. And as Sahara reporters, one of the top news in um, Nigeria, as they reported, I'll give it to you from them, Sahara reporters, they said, Femi Fani Kayode's fourth marriage exploded over domestic violence. A former minister of aviation in Nigeria, Femi Fani Kayode, and his ex-beauty queen wife, his wife, she was an ex-beauty queen, ex-beauty queen um, wife, Precious, her name is Precious Chikwendu, have separated. And they went further to say, source told Sahara reporters that the former minister started physically abusing pressures from the first year of marriage, the same fate that befell her three predecessors. So, you'll be wondering, why are we talking about this? We're talking about this because this same man, Femi Fani Kayode, or we can call him Femi or Kayode, or you know, because his name is long. <laughs> this same man has been married four good times. That's three times before this present young, beautiful ex a queen. I will insert photos of them, of the both of them and the ex beauty queen for you people to see she's beautiful. And the most shocking thing is all the other three wives left him on the same account. Not because he cheated, not because he did something else that they all left because of domestic violence. And those of you that are Nigerians, you know about the, um, I think it's a few months ago that he was so upset because a reporter um, asked him a question that he didn't like and he went ballistic. He was screaming, he was yelling at the guy, you stupid, don't ever ask me that question. Do you know who I am? Nobody can pay me, nobody can sponsor me for anything. Do you know who I am? And all of that, you're so stupid. And throughout this interview, don't ever ask me any question. And he was like, Everyone was just quiet looking at him and he was so angry and he was even saying that he has a short fuse He gets angry easily And guys, you need to watch that video. If you've not seen it, go check it out You would understand what I'm telling you. He went, he, he could just He could just tell the guy that This question you asked is insulting to me. It's, you know, you, it's insulting to my person and all of that the guy could have just apologized and they will just move on but he stopped the whole interview with the with the uh, microphones and people standing around and he went on for more than 10 minutes complaining and insulting raining courses on this um reporter that just asked him the question and the guy just stood there looking at him <laughs> everybody everyone was perplexed so this same guy now his fourth wife has accused him of being violent, you know, that he beats up, and verbal abuse, you know, and all of those. So, they have separated. And I want to ask you guys a question, and let's have a discussion in the comment section, okay? Do you think that when ladies, I think both ways, for a lady that has been married three times, 
or for a man that has been married three times, if you want to be the fourth or fifth or sixth or seventh wife of that person, do you think that it is a good idea for you to do some research and ask questions, try to find out what made those other women to leave the marriage so you can compare their words or if you can, if you can even find those women if they will agree to talk to you so you can compare their words and, and, and then you will be able to make a decision for yourself if, if this is a marriage that you will want to go into because I really think that there was a red flag if you ask me, I'm talking about the fourth wife like there was, there was just something was not right for three women to move out of your house we're talking about a man that is wealthy well, and, and you know, so if you're talking, you cannot say, ah, okay, it's probably because these women wanted comfort and they wanted a guy with money and someone that could take care of them. This man is rich. He was the former minister of aviation in Nigeria. He is a top politician in Nigeria. He is stinkingly rich. So if you're talking about comfort, you're getting first class comfort in his home. So what do you think will make a woman to live? When you're not happy, you're not comfortable, and this man is not treating you right. I guess these are some of the reasons that will make a woman to leave a man. Let's talk about it. Let's give people, ladies out there, let's let's watch out for the red flags. Let's let's just talk about it. Give me your opinion. Let me know. For me, this is my opinion. I just think if a man or a woman has been married three or four or five times and got divorced and the women are all alive, none of them are dead. It is good to ask questions, do your investigation and find out what is going on with this man before you say yes to him. Anyway, I wish you both well, Precious Chikwendu and FFK Femi Fani Kayode, I wish you well too. But I got to report, I got to give my people the hot gist in town. Alright guys, bye so see.